Hey guys, so I've just been trying to sort out what PC engine stuff I'm going to take to the London gaming market this weekend. So this big box here is probably some of the better Hue card games I've got in. Uh, this box here is what we'll be getting left behind. It's either doublers or it's baseball or just not very good games. So I'll be quite like through. Uh, Dragon Spirit's pretty decent we shoot them up. That's Kato Ken and Ken Chan, and really, really weird but good game. Power Golf, Final Lap Twin, F1 Circus, another Kato Ken. There will be a few of these that are kind of doubled up, and I'll try and go through them quickly. This is a funny one. This is Quiz Chibi Maruko Chan, I believe. A game that I paid £2,500 for on the Neo Geo. Couldn't understand the word of it, but I needed it to finish the set at the time, and the PC Engine version is slightly cheaper. Guy of Flame, Yokai Dochuki, a wee basic platform game, baseball. So these are all the Momotaro Densetsu games. Uh, quite unplayable in Japanese, but very popular in Japan. There is one exception to the unplayable part I'll get to when I find it. Yeah, the football, Tenoko Bank, which is for saving your games if you've got the CD-ROM add-on. Uh, R-Type 1. So some of these are not great, some of them are amazing. Fantasy Zone, kind of kind of funny time when Sega was letting their licenses come out on competition hardware. P47, nice we shoot them up. USA Basketball. And let me see if I can make some space here. Motor Roaders an amazing game. It's a wee overhead driving game, a bit like the old Super Sprint, off-road racer sort of thing. Basic shoot em up. Formation and death. Legendary Axe, but it's brand new and sealed, so expensive. Space Harrier, 1943, amazing game. Got a couple of copies of Salamander, Ordain, nice wee shoot em up. SCI, which is Chase HQ2. Kayu Kayoku Tiger, amazing shoot em ups. R Type 2, the game had to be split onto two few cards back in the day. R Type 1. Radius, so we've got some shoot em up royalty here. Final Soldier, amazing as well. Dragon Saber's nice. Sun Sun 2 is a really good game. Rabio Lepus is a really, really weird shoot em up. So, this is Momotaru Katsugeki, so probably making a mess of pronouncing that. The other Momotaro games, uh, Peach Boy games, are all unplayable, but for this one, Hudson Soft decided, it's annoying they don't put screenshots, they decided to make it into a platform game, and it's arguably the best platform game on the system. It is absolutely incredible. The other games go for a fiver each. This one's a bit more expensive because people actually want to play it. Uh, Fireplay Wrestling 2, Street Fighter, really nice conversion, Power Golf. Apare Gate Ball, which is basically a croquet game. More R type, Doraemon. More Rabi Lucas. Random Super Graphics game, Battle Ace. Uh, Hell Tourer, I think this is called. It's a really nice game. The original Fire Pro Wrestling. TV Sports Basketball, I loved that back in the day. Paranoia, nice shoot em up. Yeah, casino, another super graphics game with no front cover unfortunately. Metal Stoker, now that's a really good game but as you can tell by the price, it's quite a sought after shoot em up. Oops. Sorry, not very good at the camera work thing yet. Okay, so we've got a couple of Street Fighter. It's quite interesting. Street Fighter, I think, is the only Hue card game that actually came out with a spine card. This one, unfortunately, has got half of the spine card missing. Uh, rock on, nice shoot em up. Early football game. P47, 
47 again. World Court Tennis from Namco, really, really addictive wee game. I think that's the one that kind of eventually morphed into Smash Court Tennis on PlayStation. Puzzle Boy is an amazing wee game, really good. Uh, Hanny on the Road, that is an amazing game as well. There was also Hanny in the Sky, I believe, but I don't have that. Another one of the moments I will catch the turkey. This is nice. So this is PC Genjin. Nope. Denjin, sorry. Genjin was a platform game. So they made PC Kid into a shoot 'em up. And it's amazing. They brought out a Hugh Card and a CD version. Hugh Card version's a wee bit harder to get, but really, really nice game. One of the best shoot 'em ups on the machine. Classic, obviously, Bomberman the original. Yeah, it's a terrible game that goes for a lot of money. It's Strip Fighter 2. You can probably tell by the name it's a Street Fighter 2 ripoff, shall we say. Uh, various scantily clad ladies try to beat each other up. Not a great game, but kind of scarce. Barabo Man, sorry, I've got the name of that for a second. Really nice platform kind of action game from Namco. One of my favourites. I remember playing this on the Atari ST back in the day, Atomic Robo Kid. Great game. Slow paced thinking shooting. All the time, this one's in nicer condition than the last one, so it's a bit more expensive. Excellent tennis game. There we go. Galaga 88. An essential if you've got the machine. Ninja Warriors, brilliant, Gunhead, incredible shoot 'em up, really, really good. I think it was called Blazing Lasers when it came out in America, which is a really rubbish name. Possibly the greatest cover ever. Man does not look happy at all. So here's PC Genjin, the first PC kid. This was Hudson Soft's attempt at doing a, a mascot character for the PC Engine, and it was amazing. I used to always see it in CNVG magazine when I was young and I didn't have a PC engine and I really, really wanted it. When I eventually got around to getting it, it did not disappoint. Circus Lido. Uh, another interesting story. It was a really, really rare, it's still quite expensive, but I believe this is the one that they found like a whole shipping container full of them. Years after they thought it was really rare, so the price went down quite a bit. And another nice chubby cyber go, a nice shoot mark. Sun Sun, which is excellent. Bombing in again. Power Drift. I'm going to upset half of you here, but I thought even the arcade machine was garbage. Uh, everyone loves it, but I think I was just really bad at it. Mm, decent conversion, but not my kind of game. Hattress, which is very Ron Seal, it is Tetris with hats. Don Doko Don, an amazing game. Some sort of shogi game. Uh, interesting cover. Don't know how they get away with that. Okay. PC Genjin 2. Another strip fighter. Packland, absolutely essential. Brilliant game. Again, classic shoot 'em up. Good luck. Bomberman 94, this was the last one that came out on the PC engine. And it's quite a rare, this is the Niketsu soccer game, but the Hue card version is really quite rare, the, the CD ROM version is quite common. This one, Jaseki Necromancer, it looks like an alien game, but it's a kind of really hard to play unless you know Japanese RPG. But I always think the cover on it's beautiful. Looks like HR Geiger stuff. Obviously, if you don't like fish. 
This is a game for you because you kill hundreds of them. The Kung Fu Hudson Soft's first game for the PC Engine. Another Street Fighter. That is Fire Pro Wrestling 3. Time Cruise Brilliant. Paranoia and another World Cup tennis. So, decent wee selection of stuff in there, and hopefully, some of you will buy some in London. Thanks.